Welcome to the AACSD's 2022 Meet the Funder webinar series. My name is Monica Harper. I'm the Executive Director of the AACSD, and I will be your host. Our pre presenter today is Don Cosenza with North Mill Equipment Finance. North Mill is both a funding source member and a gold sponsor of the AACSD, and I'd like to thank them for their support of the association. Before I introduce North Mill, I'd like to go over a few items to make this webinar more enjoyable and informative for everyone. During the presentation, you should say a Q&A box that allows you to ask questions. If you have any questions during the presentation, please submit your questions in the box and they should be answered by the end of the webinar. If we run out of time before all questions are answered, I'm sure Don would be happy to communicate with you individually following the webinar. The entire webinar should take no more than about 30 to 45 minutes. For those of you who would like to review this webinar at a later date, it will be posted on the 2022 Meet the Funder page of the website, and it will be emailed to the AACFB membership. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to Don. Don is North Mills Chief Marketing Officer. He's responsible for leading the company's sales and marketing efforts with a primary focus on devising and implementing North Mills growth strategy. Leveraging his more than 25 plus years as a marketing leader, Don manages all brand business development, broker and customer relations, and product marketing initiatives for the company. Prior to joining North Mill, Don was the Vice President of Marketing for United Healthcare, where he helped build the company's sales pipeline in the Northeast region of the country. He also worked for GE Capital as an e-commerce leader, where he introduced a social media strategy and improved operating efficiencies by deploying digital programs. John, I want to give this time to you now and uh, uh, turn it over to you. It's all yours. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, Monica. Uh, appreciate the warm welcome. Good afternoon, everybody. As Monica said, I'm Don Casenza, Chief Marketing Officer for North Mill Equipment Finance. And I'm thrilled, as mm -hmm. always, to be part of AACFB's renowned Meet the Funder program. I'm going to do my best to keep the presentation to no more than 45 minutes at the most, so we can leave the remaining time open for questions. Uh, if by chance, uh, as Monica said, we don't get to all the questions, we'll make sure to uh, get copies of those questions and provide answers to ensure that everyone is up to speed on North Mill's value story. So there are a few different sections of deck for today's presentation. First, I'll spend a few minutes and introduce you to North Mill and what sets us apart. Next, I'm going to dive into the various financial solutions and services that we offer with a focus on those programs that have proven to be extremely popular um, and or ha have generated a buzz in the industry. Um, and then I'm going to dive into our credit policies and our rates. And then finally, I will finish up by sharing some of the informational and promotional tools that we have at North Mill especially uh, with information on how you can establish a relationship with us as one of our referral agents. Oop. Changed my background instead of the slide. <laughs> I did it again. We'll have to stick with that. Okay, my next trick. So, North Mill has been around for many, many years. Um, lots of folks think that, um, uh, you know, we've only been around for about 15, uh, 20 years, but actually North Mill opened uh, its doors back in 1957. We have about 110 uh, employees as of uh, May of this year. We are headquartered in Norwalk, Connecticut with additional offices nationwide. Um, we're national in scope. So we uh, uh, fund deals from east to west. And uh, we have about 700 million in assets under management um, in 2022. We had a banner year last year, and I'm going to dive into that in a second. $391 million in new business uh, for 2021. That was an increase of 115% from the prior year. Um, we participate in all of the major uh, associations with obviously AACFB, um, NIFA, ELFA, and NACLB among them. And we were recapitalized um, a few years ago. Uh, we're owned um, uh, by an affiliate of Wafra Capital Partners. Uh, Wafra is an international investment firm that manages billions in assets and deploys the variety of finance strategies, uh, including, of course, equipment finance. And literally, the relationship between our two companies pushed North Mill into a completely 
different financial stratosphere, uh, giving us really the backing that we needed to cement our, our place in the, in the industry as a, a sound, financially stable, um, premier equipment finance lender. So North Mill uh, finished up 2021 uh, at a high watermark um, with volume more than doubling from the year before um, as our originations came in, as I said, at $391 million. We continued that upward trajectory at the end of the first quarter of this year as we announced loan and lease originations reached an all-time high of $109 million um, over the three-month period, which was up 99% from the same period last year. And originations for the month of March of this year um, also represented a new pinnacle as funded volume surpassed 49 million, almost 50 million, eclipsing the December 2021 originations high of 36 million. So this news, this positive news has been ongoing really for the last couple of years. Um, many of you may know that we had a brand refresh with the ultimate goal being um, a connotation that we really focus on customer service. Um, hence our, our uh, compass, um, which has uh, originations in uh, service, actually, as far as the, um, the Greeks were concerned. So we thought it an apropos uh, logo to continue with um, an icon. Um, we bought a company called Aztec. We opened offices all over the country, um, and we increased our funding amount to 1 million, again, which was a, a major change for our organization. And there's just much more to come. So I always include this slide in the presentation um, just to quickly share the management team at North Mill. Some of us have been working together for years and we really, you know, really are a genuinely cohesive group. And I think we each bring our own uh, skill sets and experience to the table. Um, and I'd be remiss if I, if I didn't start with David on the far left, you'll see David Lee. He's our chairman and CEO. Um, I know that um, many of you on this call know David personally, and as I've said repeatedly, uh, again, on these presentations, it's really under his guidance that North Mill has done a, a 180 um, from just a few years ago and truly become a premier lender in the equipment finance space. It's really exciting for me um, personally, because I've been with the company now going on, uh, uh, it'll be nine years, um, and I've I've been with, with NMEF um, you know, over that period for, for nine years, and I've seen this major transformation in the organization. So um, you know, I'm, I guess what you call an old timer now. And for me to see today versus what I saw uh, just a few years ago is, is absolutely astounding. The company is in just um, a completely different space. Right in the middle, um, well, actually right to uh, David's right is Mark Bonanno. Mark, uh, he's our president, touches every facet of our business from obtaining uh, securitizations to managing loan portfolios to overseeing the implementation of all of our, our internal processes. Um, next to Mark is Pierre Snyder. She is our CFO. Um, right next to Pierre is yours truly. Uh, I'm the CMO um, and I'm responsible for all the promotional aspects of the business as well as overseeing everything related to our broker relationships. To my right are Bob Dion and Joe Latier, um, two industry veterans who really bring a, a wealth of leasing experience to the table as they manage our credit operations. So I, I again, I, I, there's a couple of slides that I always make sure to include in our presentations. And I wanna point out this one in particular because it really does uh, outline some characteristics that set North Mill apart from the competition. And, um, this is, is not just uh, uh, you know, marketing uh, promo material. This is truly how we operate. It's genuine. Um, we're an open book, and our mission statement is to build on a solid foundation of upholding really the values of, of transparency, honesty, and integrity. And we all take this to heart. Um, and, and in all my years as a, a senior marketing professional um, working for the likes of some, you know, corporate behemoths, you know, major companies like, uh, as Monica said, United Healthcare, GE Capital, um, the Travelers. Uh, you know, I've seen, I've never seen a more committed, professional, and hardworking group of people, and I'm really genuinely proud to work here. Um, additionally, uh, in the center, uh, you'll note that the hand 
is showing that we are 100% committed to the broker community. Um, not all of our competitors do that. Um, we, are, we do not go direct. We rely solely on our family of referral agents to promote our portfolio of financial solutions. We do not work multiple channels for a number of reasons. Uh, in cases where we get a call from a former customer looking to finance a new deal, you know, we send that person literally right back to you. Um, we do not deal directly. And the relationship we have with our brokers is critically important with respect to the feedback that you provide us. And again, on the marketing side, I make it a point to touch as many brokers as I can throughout the week um, and solicit feedback on, you know, what are we doing well? What are we not doing well? Um, what do you like? Um, what would you like to see from us? And we've taken that feedback and literally molded the organization and changed processes and introduced products based 100% on the feedback that you've provided with us. And then finally, on the far right, and I'll dive into this shortly, um, you know, we offer a full basket of financial solutions that I'm about to share with you. I do want to uh, spend just a quick moment on this slide and mention our service, our account management what we call our enhanced service model. It wasn't long ago where uh, North Mill was based uh, its customer service model on one person um, handling your transactions. And we really felt that to be, to offer a premium level of service and to be sure that we're here um, to answer all your questions at any stage of the deal, we moved over to a team approach. Um, and it really helps because if somebody's out sick or somebody's on vacation or what have you, there's always a team of people who are working your transactions, who are at the ready to answer any of your questions, um, to supply you with information, um, to share exactly where the deal is in the adjudication process. So you're always gonna have that team of people um, to turn to. And uh, we've heard some great feedback on it. And um, as uh, you, if you're already working with us or you become a North Mill broker, um, I appreciate any feedback that you can provide on that model um, because, again, we've, we've heard overwhelmingly positive feedback. Um, DocuSign, I know this is almost sort of a, uh, uh, expected at this point, but I, I do make a note that Northmill did transition to eDocs not all that long ago, and all transactions funded by Northmill should be completed using DocuSign eDocs as the method to pass files between parties uh, engaged in the funding process. And I imagine that most of you are familiar with eDocs, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on this slide, but I do want to make sure that you know that um, we did transition to that platform. And you know, since files travel electronically, eDocs can be accessed at any time. And there's a whole bunch of benefits associated you know, with the platform itself. Um, but in addition to being able to access them at any time on any device, uh, materials can be retrieved and updated with immediacy. Plus, there's no need to forward eDocs to your customers or dealers as they get their own respective packages from Northmill as the deal um, goes to uh, doc and then funding. So what do we finance? Um, you know, as I said at the top of the call, Northmill uh, has changed a lot over the last few years. And at one time we were known as sort of the the lender of last resort that worked specifically with challenge credits in the transportation space. And um, we have just burgeoned forth since that, uh, that point in time. And um, we finance many, many, many different types of assets. And I won't necessarily read them all here on this slide, but you have a, a pretty good idea of, by looking at it, all the different categories of equipment that, uh, that we will finance. And our portfolio is very diverse right now and very balanced. Um, we do, and I always like to include uh, these logos, we do our share of franchise business. It's actually a very profitable uh, segment for us. Um, that was exciting uh, you know, for us as an organization to be able to finance the likes of uh, Burger King and Subway and Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, the list is long, it's very long, Ben and Jerry's. Um, there's many of them. Um, so we are uh, a lender that will finance franchises. We also do medical, we do, construction, we do uh, uh, packaging, we do demolition, commercial printing, um, the list really goes on and on. Um, a couple of things to remember uh, about our, uh, our assets that we financed. We do ask, uh, first of all, we do new and used, 
Um, the assets should be revenue producing um, and hence essential to the obligor's uh, business. Um, so in the case of um, a, a construction company, obviously a bulldozer has a direct impact on the amount of business they can do and therefore their bottom line. So we do ask it be revenue producing and as I said, essential to the obligor. Um, we also prefer a low risk of obsolescence um, with a sustainable asset value, which is one of the reasons that we don't do um, computer hardware and software. Um, and we do require that the asset have a, a, a secondary market and that it can be resold um, if need be. So what don't we do? We get asked that question as often as we get asked, what do you do? And um, the list isn't all that long, but there are some things on it. Um, and again, I won't necessarily read them all, but um, I will make reference in the uh, presentation to our handbook. We have a, since so like I think 65 pages now, a 65 page handbook that um, we send out to all of our brokers. And um, it's very easy to use. It's a PDF document with links in it. So you can literally just click on whatever topic you're looking for and it takes you immediately to that section of the book. Um, and you know we share what assets are outside of our purview and um, you, you know the big one that we get asked, especially now, is you know cannabis. Do we do cannabis or CBD? And the answer is at this point we do not do anything related to cannabis or CBD or adult entertainment and gaming. Um, glider kits is another one that we do get asked about quite often. And as I said, those are outside of our purview. So I wanna talk a little bit about our financial solutions and um, start with a high level overview of North Mill at a glance. And this, this slide really should give you a pretty good idea of where we play in the market. So I'll start out in the upper left-hand corner. Um, we do funding anywhere from 15,000 to a million dollars in value. And as I said, it wasn't that long ago that we increased our maximum funding from 600,000 to a million. So it's exciting for us because we really transcend the small ticket space and, and have now um, edged our way into uh, uh, the mid ticket arena as we continue to grow the business. Um, we do uh, A through C credits. Um, we really don't do too many D credits. Um, our average FICO, no, it's our average. We, we certainly do lower than this, but our average FICO, it shot up to, I think it was about 710. Um, and our average deal size was about 80,000. Um, so things have changed dramatically in the last couple of years. Um, we are national in scope. I think I mentioned that earlier that we um, do underwrite business uh, all over the nation. Our terms are uh, range from 36 to 60 months. Um, we don't extend beyond 60, and there have been a few cases where we've, where we've considered that and we've done it, but 99% um, of the time, it does have to fall between that 36 and 60 month time frame. We do offer up to 12 points in commission and um, on all of our rate cards, and that was a change for us. So it's been a few years now, but um, at one point, I think we maxed out at six. So we've doubled that and do up to uh, 12 points have been uh, for, some, for some time now. Um, our rates start in the single digits. Um, there are some changes that we're going to see over the next couple of weeks with respect to our rates. Um, and I will be sharing that with all of our broker partners um, very soon. And then um, lastly, uh, I do want to mention the fact that we do multiple asset categories. I mentioned that earlier, and I want to emphasize it again, that if you see or your customer comes to you with an asset that you're not sure of. In other words, you don't know if it fits within uh, our purview. Um, I highly recommend that you reach out to your North Mill relationship manager and uh, give him or her a call. Um, we funded some pretty interesting things. And you know, David, um, our CEO, has said repeatedly that um, you know, he's focused more on the credit, the customer's credit, than he is the asset. You know, he jokes that he, you know, he would finance a pencil if need be. So he really, uh, and we really want to uh, make sure that we understand the credit history of the customer and build our structure around that credit history, more so than the value uh, of the asset. 
So I'm gonna continue on with North Mill at a glance on the next couple of slides. Um, a few of these with the stars actually have their own slides. And so I'm not gonna dive in until I get to the slides on those topics, but I wanted to include them anyway, overall. So we have an app only and an app plus program. Our app only deals fall between um, 15,000 to 250,000 which represent most of our transactions. Um, they are part of our application only program. And all we require um, is a credit app to pull history um, and preferably a signed credit application and a spec or invoice on the asset being financed, that's it. For larger size transactions um, above that amount all the way up to 1 million, um, they fall into our application plus, uh, plus program and we do request financials so we ask for the last two years of tax returns and the last three months of banks, the most recent, the last three months of banks, um, to include along with uh, the package. We do offer uh, loans and lease options. So our leases include um, EFAs. Well, it's actually a separate, separate category, really. We, we offer EFAs, loans, and leases. And our leases include tracks, FMBs, and buck outs or 101 outs where applicable. We do private party sales. Um, North Mills uh, private uh, sale program offers your customer, in, in effect, non dealer financing. So instead of the customer purchasing an asset from a dealership slash vendor, um, he or she procures the asset from you know, typically another end user. And with our program, um, we, we do that only with loans. Um, Leases are not um, available through our private sale program. And there's a number of customer benefits associated with private sales. They, you know, customer can leave a dealership out of the equation um, and it sometimes can be um, uh, more cost effective in that regard. Some, some buyers think they get a better pricing without a dealer involved. And certain assets are just not available through a dealer. Um, and people often like to buy from someone they know. So we do our fair share of private sales and um, it's something that um, is, is uh, ingrained in our value proposition. Um, I also have on this page with the second star is our cash out program. And again, I have a separate slide on that because of uh, the importance to the organization and the feedback that we get from our customers. So I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I did wanna mention um, and felt finish on this slide on our 1010 program. Um, as its name implies, that's at the bottom of the slide, for new and recent vintage vehicles, North Mill offers a 10% reduction um, uh, from our, what we call our rack rate and a 10% reduction in down payment from our uh, standard down payment guidelines. And new and recent, uh, new and recent vintage um, are defined as assets made just within the last, uh, I think it's two years. Um, so it would be 2020 and 2021 would be considered um, recent vintage. Additional collateral, uh, that's at the top of this slide. Get asked that a lot. Uh, it's a very popular program at North Mill and um, it, your customer who owns an asset free and clear can pull equity from that asset and use it towards the down payment for another deal. And that in fact is, is the, um, the, the structure of the cash out. The, it's very similar, it's in fact the same product, um, but it can be used in a number of different ways. But some of our customers do use um, the equity built in an unencumbered asset as uh, additional collateral or towards the down payment of another deal. Um, so something to consider. Uh, we do offer placeholder approvals. We get asked that constantly. Um, basically, a placeholder approval, a, a placeholder approval um, is for customers who have chosen an asset to finance, but the customer does know um, that he or she will need the equipment within the next 60 days. They just haven't picked out the actual final piece of equipment. Um, so we'll issue a, a sample approval based on the asset that they think they're gonna buy and that uh, customer's credit history. Um, so generally we have to understand what the asset is. We do a, a, a background check. We need an understanding of how much, you know, the value of that asset. And then we can put together um, almost like a hypothetical um, uh, credit approval 
uh, based on that information. And really the benefit to you as a referral agent is uh, the vernacular is you know, taking the deal off the street, um, which can be highly beneficial. And then finally, uh, we have our truck master warranty program, and I'll talk about that shortly as well, because uh, there's a lot to say. And finally, North Mill is one of the few lenders um, that offers funding for startup businesses. So if your customer's business is a startup, um, or the way we define it, less than two years old, um, we do require that uh, the PG have at least a 650 FICO. Um, as for owner operators, by definition, they both own the company they work for and operate the business. So for example, a trucker who owns the trucking company and is the primary driver for that company is a good example of what an owner operator is. Um, and we absolutely consider owner operators and startups. This is really um, our, this is about our prepayment policy and a very, very important um, uh, program. Um, that really is a key differentiator for us, and it has major implications in the two primary offerings that we provide when a deal adjudicates and a structure is formally defined and then passed along to you. And I'll explain in a moment, but really what makes North Mill's early payoff policy so popular um, and highly unique is that the premium charged is on the principal only. So that's not considered really typical in the equipment finance industry as many, if not most lenders charge a premium on both principal and interest. And we don't do that. Um, you know, moreover, early payoff is designed to reward those customers who make on time and regular payments each month so they can pay off the loan without premium or penalty after 18 consecutive months of timely payments. So to demonstrate how it works, assume uh, in year one of a loan. So at this point, we've got to say that or assume that less than 12 monthly payments have been made. There's an 8% premium charged on the outstanding principal balance only. Um, in year two, and that gradually reduces. Um, in year two of the loan, um, so let's assume at this point that fewer than 24 payments have been made. A 4% premium is charged on the outstanding uh, principal balance and it continues on. Year three, um, if 36, less than 36 payments have made, a 2% premium is charged. And then finally, um, in, in, if 18 consecutive months of on-time payments have been made, um, there is a zero premium charged on the outstanding principal balance. And we do have a number of customers who leverage that and um, have found that it is uh, highly beneficial because of the money that they save um, in interest payments. Um, North Mill, um, under the uh, uh, marketing department, does offer um, a calculator, a tool that allows you to um, plug in some numbers and actually demonstrate the difference between um, an early payoff and, and you know, not an early payoff and um, how much savings your customer would um, realize if, in fact, they decide to leverage that option. So the reason, again, that that's so important is to segue into this next slide um, in that another key differentiator for North Mill is the fact that we offer both a standard loan and an EFA. So that's an equipment finance agreement automatically when the transaction approves as a loan. And the majority of our transactions are approved as loans. And an EFA is quite similar to a loan, but it does not include the ability to prepay. Uh, before the end of the term. So I just talked about our prepayment policy. That's not included with the EFA. On the other hand, the loan does include the option for prepayment. And those are automatically both included in your approval letter that you can share with your customer. Um, and that really is the main difference between the two. The EFA does not include the prepayment policy, whereas the loan does. And to compensate for the fact that the EFA does not include the option to prepay, it's priced about 10% lower than the loan. Um, so in fact, customers can choose between the standard loan with a prepayment policy, a perfect solution for those who are looking for peace of mind. Um, in Connecticut, we call that peace of mind guaranteed. Um, or, or for those customers who are more uh, price conscious and looking for a lower monthly payment, the EFA is a better option. And we also have a, a tool that we created. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty slick. Um, basically, it's an Excel spreadsheet, but 
it's designed su in uh, such a uh, format that you can actually plug in numbers and do a side-by-side -side comparison of an EFA versus a loan and share that directly with your customer. Uh, for those of you who do your share of transportation equipment and, you know, North Mill still has, you know, a decent size uh, of its portfolio uh, designated to the transportation segment, specifically Class A vehicles. We offer our truck master warranty. Um, it's a program designed by specialty administrative services just for us, specifically designed for North Mill in order to better protect your customers really from unexpected large repair issues that are just inherent on used trucks. Um, we require that the warranty be included on all units financed uh, with 350,000 miles. So for example, if a class A has 375,000 miles, it must have the truck master warranty included in the deal. Um, a complete listing of what's covered under the warranty can be found in our North Mill Referral Agent Handbook that I referenced uh, a few moments ago. So I, I want to just jump uh, to cash out. I'll go back uh, on the other slide in a second. I just did a uh, mini clinic on our cash out program, and we had a, a you know a remarkable turnout. Um, there were so many uh, brokers who dialed in, um, many of whom are not working with us as well as as those who do, and uh, we received some really great feedback on cash out. And basically, it's an alternative uh, working capital solution, but. Basically, uh, you know, sometimes a company just may find that the difference between its assets and its liabilities is not sufficient to maintain it to, uh, maintain daily operations, right? So that's when it's time to bridge the gap by financing working capital. And there's different ways that a company can do that. Um, they can do it through merchant cash advances. Um, they can do a revolving line of credit. Um, or they can do accounts receivable factoring. So there's a number of different ways. And while they all provide cash flow, they're, you know, they're really not created equal. Um, and we think cash out is a terrific, terrific alternative to some of the other more common solutions I just mentioned. And, and, and simply put, cash out allows a borrower to pull out the equity from paid up business equipment and channel the proceeds back into the company. It's just like a, a home equity loan. Um, and although, it, or, some people uh, use the analogy as, uh, of a sale lease back. Um, and our cash out is structured as a loan, but it's very similar. And so because it's structured as a loan, that means all the benefits associated with a loan are in effect like that early payoff option. And a couple of the other benefits included in our cash out program, including the ability to early pay, they're competitive rates. Um, typically, working capital solutions are, are expensive. You know, total borrowing costs, uh, which include fees and interest with an average MCA, can range up to 40%. And North Mills cash out is usually a much more cost-effective alternative. Again, uh, and I actually have a, a, a slide in the cash out deck that compares in a matrix format side by side a number of different variables um, and looks at cash out and MCA. Terms with our cash out can be up to 60 months and often terms with a uh, typical MCA are anywhere from six to 18 months. Um, so customers have really up to five years, um, depending upon you know, the, the, how the deal adjudicates, but they have five, uh, up to five years to repay a cash out. Um, there's monthly versus daily or weekly payments with our cash out. Um, there's no need to give up ownership with our cash out. Um, it is not unlike um, some other products. It's not, a it's not tied to accounts receivable um, or invoices or credit card sales. So your customer really need not part ways with any hefty fees tied to credit card receipts, invoices, or accounts receivable with, with cash out. No restrictive covenants. And um, in, you know, importantly, equipment usage remains uninterrupted just because um, you've now uh, taken a loan against the equity the asset itself can still remain in use in business operations. If you're interested in cash out, again, um, at the end of the call, I'll share with you um, more information on how to learn about cash out, as well as if you're not already, how to become a North Mill broker. So portal functionality, and, and we actually have an ad coming out in the Monitor Magazine um, shortly, because um, we had a great ranking in, um, 
in the monitor for 2022. We developed a portal um, uh, not long ago, and it is just, again, I'm, I mean, it's just received really positive reviews. And the portal, uh, we, we're offering mini clinics on the portal as well. And we offered three sessions actually in the month of June and had you know dozens of, of our referral agents dial in. And it's just a very powerful, intuitively designed portal that really is the bridge between your shop and our shop. And everything that you need to do um, as it relates to your transactional process with North Mill can be done so inside the portal. Um, and I will not read all of these big 10 features, but suffice it to say that you can do everything in this portal from submitting transactions to importantly, checking your KPIs, your key performance indicators on a daily basis. Log on as many times as you want, and you can see exactly how many deals that you've submitted to us, how many of those deals or what percentage of those deals have been approved. Um, how much did you fund with us? Um, you can identify uh, the status of your customers, who's uh, current and who's delinquent. Um, you can look at all this information and slice it up a number of different ways. You can look at it weekly, you can look at it monthly, you can look at it quarterly, you can look at it yearly. Um, and one of the really important uh, uh, applications within the portal is the ability uh, before you submit a transaction to North Mill to take a few moments and answer a few questions. And the matrix is built such that its logic takes you through from top to bottom the different things that we consider when adjudicating. And if you answer the questions in a certain way, you'll find at the end of the uh, question and answer section, uh, a session, which literally is about 45 seconds, you'll know whether or not it makes sense for you to submit that deal to us. It doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be approved, but it, you'll know whether or not it fits uh, within our credit box. And that can save you valuable time. Rather than submitting a deal only find out that it's outside of our credit box, you'll learn right away before you submit the deal. And we've that uh, uh, application in particular within the portal has um, really been heralded by our referral agents because they immediately see, you know, you know time is money. So if there's any way for you to um, save time, um, you know, that, that could mean um, uh, a big difference for you in, in, in the revenue that you generate in a given month. So I highly recommend if you're working with North Mill and you're not accessing our portal that you ask us for username and password. And if, to gain access. And if you are not yet working with North Mill and you're interested in working with us, um, I highly recommend that once you uh, are approved and sign on and start doing business with us, that you request a username and password and we will provide that to you ASAP. So pricing and deals. Um, I'll just explain at a high level um, what our pricing structure is looks like, um, as it looks like now. Um, basically, there's there's, there's, there's two categories of equipment. We've got what we call all equipment, and then we have special equipment. And when we talk about all equipment, we're talking about pretty much everything that we do. So that's transportation, that's construction, franchising, um, demolition, packaging, printing, all of that falls in um, to all equipment. Then we have a, another set of cards um, which we designate um, our special equipment cards. And that specifically relates to uh, sleepers in particular, class eights, specifically sleepers, logging equipment and printing equipment. And so you have these, these two groups, you have all equipment and special equipment. And then within each of those two categories, there's an A set of cards and a B set of cards. The A set of cards are designed for customers who have more uh, optimal credit backgrounds and they have at least two years uh, of time in business. So their credit histories are cleaner and they're a little bit more experienced. Whereas the B cards are, are for startups, um, as I said before. So they're for those 
businesses that have less than two years time of business and a more challenged uh, credit history. And so, you know, we get asked all the time, um, you know, what do you look at when reviewing a customer's uh, credit history? And, you know, many of the things that are on this page are things that, that, that banks and other lenders, alternative lenders like North Mill private lenders do. Uh, so I don't think there's anything on here that's atypical. Um, we just have our own ranges and we will be sharing um, our rates with the credit uh, variables that we look at to identify where a deal uh, will price out at. So for example, you will know uh, if your customer has a construction asset and they've been in business for more than two years and they have a fairly clean credit history, you're going to know that you're going to be in, that's going to be an A priced deal. And you will know then whether it's an A1, A2, A3, or A4 based on these different credit variables. And in the documents that we provide, it'll be very, very clear for you to see how a deal ends up pricing based on the category in which it falls, based on the credit variables um, assigned to that specific uh, deal structure. So it, it always helps, and we recommend to all of our referral agents, I don't think this is an epiphany for any of us at North Mill, um, but we really always recommend that you spend time with your customer, that you do a very thorough interview with your customer, and that you really get as much information upfront as you can um, based on customer feedback so that you can make a decision, you know, whether or not that deal fits within um, North Mill's uh, credit box. And again, we're trying to make this as easy as possible for all of our brokers so you, you can quickly look at uh, you know, a spreadsheet and say, oh, you know what, that deal definitely fits within uh, North Mills purview. And I think it's going to be priced as an A2. And, um, you know, here's what that, uh, uh, that buy rate is going to look like. And here's what that down payment is going to be. We want to make this as easy as possible. And that's a little bit of a change for North Mill because we, we haven't always structured things that way, but we are going to, um, and have started um, putting that together for this summer for rollout in the very, very near future. And what do we look at? You know, we get asked all the time, um, which CBR um, do you use? And, and Experian is our CBR. Um, we look at Experian for FICOs and credit profiles in general. Um, we always do background checks. And just like everybody else, we use Google to do so. It's one of our sources. Um, we do uh, look at PayNet. And you'll know in our when you'll see our handbook and our rates that, if at all possible, you know, you can pull a pay net. That's always a good thing um, because we do. And when, whenever there is one, um, of course, we do. You, we check UCC filings for any existing liens on assets. And we made the change not long ago to Thomson Reuters Clear uh, product um, to check work history and, and other background information for uh, our customers. Um, so I. But, you know, I want to talk about performance metrics, and, and actually, um, I, I went by the slide, but I do want to take a quick second before uh, talking about performance metrics and mention that we do have a loyalty program, and in fact, I'm going to quickly find the slide because I, I really think it's worth um, mentioning. So it's a quarterly bonus program, and um, we built it based on the key performance indicators that we use as an organization. So we look at three uh, KPIs with all the brokers with whom we work. We look at your number of submissions. We look at the approval percentage of those submissions, and then we look at how much you fund it. And so the idea was, um, why not tie it together and use the KPIs that we look at and bring them um, to you? And basically, uh, we would provide goals on a, a quarterly basis based on your history with us. And it, it, if you earn what's called a triple play, meaning that you have met your submission goal, your approval goal, and your funding goal, you earn 1.5% of uh, the total funded amount that you've done with Northmore for the quarter. Um, and it makes its way down. If you've um, met your funding goal and your approval goal, you get 1.25%. Uh, uh, and then finally, 100 basis points for a single. And we have written enormous 
enormous checks, enormously sized checks, I should say, for uh, some of our referral agents who've really, really done exceptionally well. And at the end of the day, um, it, if it behooves them, and it does, to send a deal our way uh, because of the bonus program, um, they will send it to us um, because it just makes sense for them to do so because um, they have the potential to earn uh, some big cash back bonuses. So I, I will say from a performance metric standpoint, I'm almost done. Um, we, we really would prefer, um, you know, we're looking to, to establish long lasting relationships. So we would prefer that when you work with us that we're, you know, we're looking at about 150,000 per quarter. Um, you know, that could be two seventy-five thousand dollar deals. It could be one hundred fifty thousand dollar deal. It could be, you know, six twenty-five thousand dollar deals. Whatever it comes to, um, we really would prefer that we're doing about one hundred fifty thousand in funding, um, with an approval rate of at least thirty percent, and a closing rate of at least thirty um, percent. And one of the things that we do in the marketing department, I'm responsible for sales and marketing. Um, that the vice president of customer relations and the vice president of national accounts and their account managers report up through me. And we really take it to heart in that um, our goal is to make sure that all of the broker partners with whom we work fully understand North Mills processes, our different financial solutions, our credit parameters. Um, we really want to be sure that there's no stone unturned, that you really fully understand what we're looking for, because it only makes sense for you as a referral agent partner to understand what we're looking uh, for, because we want to close as much business as possible with you. And that's why we're developing tools like the application um, uh, uh, applicant qualifier that I mentioned before in our, our new portal, answer a few questions and it tells you at the end of those questions whether or not you should send a deal to us. We're doing more and more things like that or creating more and more things like that because we want, uh, at the end of the day, to help you fund more business. And so that is really our goal. And our team of account managers, I think is you know, doing a, a you know, nice job in educating the brokers with whom they're each assigned. Um, and we're always available. My, my team and I are always available um, to all of our broker partners. So I do get asked and I'll finish up here with, um, you know, what, who's eligible um, you know, for uh, uh, a North Mill partnership. And we are looking um, and we find that, you know, we're, we have a lot more um, luck and uh, a much greater um, uh, funding rate with brokers who have been in business for at least a year, um, who have had, you know, a year's worth of experience on their own, um, you know, under their own uh, shop, under their own shingle. Um, so we do ask that you be in business for at least a year um, before applying to work with us. And equipment finance really should uh, become, or I shouldn't say, it, it should be the majority of the type of business that you fund. And, you know, we've seen uh, a transition in the market where a lot of brokers are, are adding arrows to their quiver and they're doing not just equipment financing, but they're doing working capital, they're doing SBA, they're doing real estate. And that's great. Um, but we have better luck um, and we have uh, deeper relationships, if you will, with those referral agents who have an affinity and a much deeper relationship within the equipment finance space specifically. Um, so our hope is that that is the primary uh, type of business that you fund. Um, and of course, the equipment and um, the uh, credit parameters should align with North Mill. And we make sure that you know, we provide you all the information you need upfront um, once you become a North Mill broker um, to fully understand what we're looking for. We offer what we call a welcome call. As soon as you join uh, forces with us, um, we get on the phone with you and with your whole team if, you, if you'd like, and we share everything you need to know about North Mill. And that's when you receive your referral agent handbook and everything else you're gonna need. Um, to do business with us. So uh, at the end, uh, I think we're at the end here. Um, I do want to uh, say that you know North Mill really considers it vastly important to communicate, and we really take communication to heart. And so we're 
always, as I said at the top of the call, transparency and um, integrity um, are very important to us. And so we communicate regularly to all of our, our referral agents. And we do so through a number of different platforms. We have a newsletter that goes out every month. And in fact, um, when we did our mini clinics just a few weeks ago uh, for our portal demonstrations, we just had dozens of, of folks who responded to that and signed up for those uh, uh, demonstrations. So we send that out and we have um, a number of, of, of uh, handbooks and matrices that, that can be downloaded on our broker portal. And um, we have brochures and we actually have a marketing program whereby um, once you start to work with us, we have an array of different tools, marketing tools that we will customize for you with your brand and your company colors and even um, some of your uh, personal notation. So we will design these materials for you, you know, typically sell sheets and uh, 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 advertisements and in some cases, HTML emails. Um, all you need to do is send us your logo, uh, uh, a JPEG or a, a PNG file of your logo and some basic contact information, your phone number and details and whatnot, and your RGB colors for your, your company um, uh, brand, and we'll create those materials for you and, and customize them. So very popular program at Northville. So if you are interested in working with us, um, we uh, it's very easy to do so uh, our website is our uh, acronym north mill equipment finance it's nmef.com and you can scroll down to the bottom um actually it'll, it's actually at the top of the screen under uh, uh become a referral agent and you fill in our one page application it should take more than a few minutes and uh, if you're interested in setting up a one-on-one -on -one with either me or somebody on the sales and marketing team you scroll down to the bottom of our page and you'll see right here, um, I'm on the left, Paul Cheslock is in the middle, Carla Gokey's on the far right. Um, you can give one of us a call or you can set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with uh, any of us and we'd be happy to share uh, information about our organization and um, what uh, needs to be done um, to form a hopefully long-lasting lucrative partnership. So that is it. Um, thank you very much for this opportunity. I think, uh, Monica, I'm going to turn it back over to you uh, for any questions that may come through. Yeah, we have a couple of questions. And just as a reminder, if you have a question, please type it in the Q&A box and we'll get it answered. Um, Cindy Anderson wants to know if she can get a copy of the handbook. I don't know if that's something that's a link on your website or if you would need to send that yeah. to her directly. Yeah, typically we uh, so much of the information um, is applicable only once you become a North Mill broker. But if you're interested in that handbook, I have uh, I'd be certainly happy to send it to you. Um, so if you could provide, uh, I guess Monica, would it be you or 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 you can just contact me. You have my information right there. Email me a request, and I'd be happy to forward that to you. Great. Um, John has a. Uh, I... A few questions. So number one, um, he's from Alliance Commercial Equipment and he wants to know your trucks and trailers overall policy, if you still do owner operators and if you have a minimum requirement for fleet. So uh, we don't have a minimum, a minimum requirement for fleet. We absolutely do owner operators. And our referral agent handbook has uh, all of our equipment guidelines because they do differ uh, by uh, equipment type. And we actually have a page in the book specifically um, on um, our transportation guidelines. So all that information is in the handbook and um, I'd be happy to share that. Uh, I think it was John, you said, um, I can forward that information along as well. And those are all the questions, unless somebody else has someone they, something they want to put in the Q&A box. We'll give them just a second to do that. <clears throat> oh, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, here comes that. Uh, what type of asset for franchisees or franchises? So asset, I'm, I'm assuming, meaning what kind of franchises do we do? Um, 
we do so many different kinds and we've got a bunch of them in um, um, in process right now. We'll do Ben and Jerry's. Um, we've done um, uh, Papa John's, Subway, Burger King. Um, th just there, there's so many of them. Um, if it's a franchise um, that we know, um, we'll absolutely consider it. We actually have franchise uh, requirements. And again, um, without going through all of them, I'd be happy to forward those to, um, to you. Um, if you provide your, your uh, email information, I can share that with you. Um, so you know exactly what kind of franchise we look for and what requirements we have with respect to underwriting guidelines. So what type of equipment uh, would, you, would you do for a franchise? Well, I, I think it depends on the franchise, if I understand the question. So um, in some cases, we'll do the whole thing. You know, we'll do literally from the ground up. Um, but it, it depends on the franchise. So I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure I can answer that specifically with respect to equipment. Um, but don't just do like the cooking equipment or, a, it, you know, yeah. if it's a restaurant. It, yep. You we'll do look, all we, different. Yep. We look at all of that. Absolutely. Yep. I think that answers the question. Yeah, if I could just make oh, sure I, I, had, I have everybody's name and, and emails, I'll make sure to forward all the information they're looking for with respect to their specific questions. Absolutely. Or, we'll email sure me you have that. or again, you can email me directly and I, I can respond directly and I'll CC you, Monica. Will do. Uh, so since there's no more questions, then that will conclude our webinar. I want to say a big thanks to our participants and especially our valued funding source member and gold sponsor, North Mill Equipment Finance. Thanks for a great job as usual, Don. Uh, we look forward to having everyone again at the next Meet the Funder webinar, and we invite everyone to meet with North Mill Finance, Equipment Finance in person at our AACFB Commercial Financing Expo coming up this September in Las Vegas. And thanks again, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Monica. Thank you, everybody, for joining today.